Dear Stanabel, it pains me to be writing you this last, final letter. I've seen things that cannot be unseen. In my lust for knowledge and power, I'm afraid I've crossed the line and challenged nature and the great order of the cosmos in a way that poses the greatest threat man has ever known or will know. I fear I'm losing my mind, but I am cognizant enough to realize in my zeal for productivity and convenience at the onset of our great industrial revolution, I lost my humanity. I began to look at man not through a lens that acknowledges and embraces human foible. Foible, yes. I speak out of our inherent flaws, Annabelle, and rich complexity, the ephemeral. Seeing the beauty and truce and error and foible. Foible! Teach us, but only at what cold, tactile amount of work a person could produce as a base cog in the larger, all too powerful, senseless, mechanized machine. Taking and taking, never giving anything but repetition of the same ill advised model. An infinite growth model of infinite infancy operating with no consideration for this world's finite amount of resources. A ruthless paradigm devoid of all soul, whatever your definition of it all is. So many tiny cups. It's cup after cup. Filling the landfills. Where will they go? You know it's not you, it's it's me. You're an extension of me. The worst parts of me, I can't. It's not the right time. I don't know when the right time will be. I had the best of intentions with only the worst outcome. Just go.
It. I'm going to erase you. There's too much evil in you. I can never know. The world can't have that. Arabica, Rubasa, French Press, Fair Trade, Artisan, Can. Max, can Max be gone with you? So many tiny plastic cups! My Annabelle, a deeper sadness does not exist than to know that the prison of my own mind, my own doing, has in the end beget my ultimate demise and an end to a journey that never even began. But, made on honor, I have a greater responsibility to those that will come after us. Something that, however hard it is to imagine, but something beyond the promise of our own great and undying romance. I think of how I once felt the entire universe and its endless variations within the space between your hand clasped and mine. No, I long for the simple world before the evil design of this coffee maker to the plane of consciousness in what was once considered the final frontier of mind. Tonight, I will destroy the Keurig and all its designs. But that will not be enough. Its allure is more powerful than my own volition, my own free will, however you define it for yourself. in this outside world with this, this darkness inside me. It is with all the love from ventricle to ventricle, spanning every cavernous aspect in the depths concerning my heart, that I say, my infant, goodbye. George Foreman Grill. Our very first tiny home. 
I did notice that. I did notice the bod. How long do you think it's been here? Mmm. Looks, uh, looks a little fresh. I feel like four days. Yeah, four days. He looks pretty alternative. Must have been up here all by himself. I get it. That's what I want. Our very first journey home! Oh, my mind is racing with ideas. Oh, all we need to do is remove the body and get some corrugated roofing. And this is the place. I know. Yeah. I would really kill for a cup of coffee right now. Yes! Oh, get down to business. We have to make blueprints! Ugh. But not like a huge cup of coffee. I don't want to no. be wasteful. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I wish it was possible to just have like a single portion yeah. of coffee. Just, you know, just just enough. Like another whole pot and just be sitting there for hours and then to clean it out and then it, just no. one portion of coffee. My waste. One for me, one for you. Yeah. All right. What's this? Dynamite. Did you hear that? No.